What is up, people? Half Slap Bacon here with a super efficient, lossless, and lag free, oh yeah, sugarcane farm for 1.11 using the new observer block. So, guys, it is lossless. We got no clock of any kind other than bud power from the wonderful observer block. It is very simple and lean and mean on the back end. So you can easily fit this into uh, a wall anywhere in an underground base or even an above ground base. You can flip it around, put another one on this side and mirror it and simply route the pistons together or pistons uh, hoppers together so that you have a big tower and you can go as high as you want with it. Really, it's all up to you. So here's the blocks of your choice. You'll notice outside of the ones I have here, there is iron there, okay? Now, obsidian, we need a block that cannot be moved by slime blocks, and I chose obsidian. But guys, it is up to you. You guys technically can use furnaces if you want, because they are cheaper. I just use uh, the obsidian because in creative, it's easy. So, first thing I want to point out, guys, is I'm placing a hopper in the uh, chest in the front of the farm here. And if you're doing a small setup like this, you can put it in front. Or let's say I had a system in the back that I wanted to go to. I could easily just route the hoppers out that way and shift this one here instead no problem and go into some kind of mass storage system that is that's not where i want that simple enough to do with this setup you can also put these at the ends if you should choose now if you're gonna go like 10 of these high i would recommend maybe uh going like this instead and doubling up your hoppers going to your storage solution just to make sure you know that you happen to have adequate for the volume because we're at default tick speed guys and you can see how often that thing's going off so yeah it's very efficient for the amount of resources you're using and for just how much collection it does it's actually at a little insane so as always guys um for my tutorials I am going to skip using solid blocks and use glass wherever possible just so it's easier for you guys to see the overall layout of my farm. So our sand here is eight wide and I'm putting the water streams in the center just because I like it going into the middle. If you're to walk by it, it looks cooler. You could just have one stream go across as it's eight blocks and you would be fine with that. It's absolutely fine. You'd have no worries there whatsoever. So from here, this is the part now that we've got our hydration going where we're going to start to add our um, leaves in. And the leaves, of course, are simply, again, because slime blocks. We don't want our slime blocks interacting with anything, right? Right. It's a thing. So... From here, I'm actually just gonna go like so, and I'm gonna start our obsidian or furnace pillar all the way around. And at some point here, we need to place a sticky piston to move our blocks. Now guys, it is up to you. You can place it on either end if you want. I put it in kind of the middle, just for the sake of uniformity but that's just kind of how I roll. So at this stage, we're just gonna move this boy, that boy, and that boy, cause I'm not gonna need those anymore. And I'm gonna bring these down and that, and I suppose I should bring that. We'll put those back till we need them for the second layer. So from here, guys, what we need to do is we need to get our observer blocks in. So we're gonna put one here on top of that leaf one here on top of that leaf. Now I should note also, um, these leaves do not have to be leaves. They can be glass. No, wait, 
They have to be Leafs. I'm an idiot. Okay. That's what I get for building all out of glass. Sometimes it confuses me. Hey. Okay, so let's get back into building this thing, shall we? So we're going to drop our slum blocks down like so. And this is where that eight comes into play, guys. So we've got eight this way. One more on each end is nine and ten and our observer blocks. Now from here, we're going to want to go now that those are in place. We're going to want to go ahead and put that there. And here's the super crazy expensive part of the build, guys. You're going to want a redstone dust there. This has to be on two ticks. Very expensive. I know, very complicated, but that's how it is. So we're going to put that there. And then we're going to come mirror it on the other side. So again, this has to be two ticks. Redstone there. And wrap the wire around to the piston. That is it for the redstone for each layer, guys. I know it's super expensive, super crazy, super complicated. You're going to have a rough time building it, but hey, it's super efficient. It's worth it. So from here, of course, we got to place more of these so that our stickies don't interact with them. And we're just going to go over top. Now, you could use furnace or obsidian here, too. I just happen to think this looks better. That's really what it's about. Now, here, with our glass or your solid blocks, you need to leave this space next to the observer empty because the observer is going to get pushed into it when the farm goes off. So from this point, guys, this is layer one done, essentially. We can close off those sections, and I did forget to grab us some sugar, baby some sugar so let's grab our sugar here and let's go ahead and put that down and this is done it's already good to go guys that's it that's all we need for one layer uh if you wanted to stop at one layer because you don't have a huge need for this you could you know just glass in there or put some lighting there or whatever if you feel this is fast enough now if you choose that you want to go multiple layers, and I think at least two looks best anyways, to be perfectly honest with you. So I'm going to go two just so I can show you how to stack it and because it's awesome and stuff. So from here, uh, we're going to place that and we're going to place this and we need to look at how we're going to go about we're going to bring our glass up as well, of course, on either side. Have to have blocks here to catch these bad boys. Now, we're going to look at the fact that, hey, you know what? Um, We got an issue here. And the issue is that we're going to need some water for this layer too. So we're going to put that at the back, guys, because I find it looks best back here. Now, personally... I like to use the lighting back here just to give each layer its own lighting, prevents mob spawning, and it looks cool. So yeah, that's kind of a thing. It's kind of important. Uh, now I'm going to fill that in there and there. Of course you don't have to, it's up to you. You could just put glass there. You could put the water stream there. Now, you could also just run one water stream if you want. But for these layers, I'm just going to put still water, guys. Reason being, less water noise. I like the look of the running water. But if there's too much of the noise going around, I find it a little annoying. Could just be me. So... Now we're basically just repeating what we did before, guys. That's it, that's all. From here, we're gonna wanna get this bad boy out and we are gonna wanna turn around and go to this side and place them like so on either end, just like we did before. And of course, from there, we're gonna need our obsidian and we're gonna go like so, wrap it around again so we can run our redstone wire. And of course, like I said before, 
pick a spot for your sticky piston to go. I like mine somewhere in the center. Really, you can put it at either end and it's still gonna move the slime blocks just fine, no problem. But I don't know, I like the symmetry. So again, your obsidian or your whatever, you know, furnaces, as long as it's a block stickies doesn't move that you don't you can place redstone on you're good to go you don't want it to be a movable block because it'll stop the things and you have to be able to place redstone on it so unlike being able to use the leaves down here it's a no-go up in this early direction so we're going to take our slime block now that our wiring's done again place our 10 and again this is why the sand is eight long is because 10 blocks plus those gets our maximum of 12 guys because that is the maximum these guys can move so again over here you know you can fill in the sides if you would like very critical there that you don't place a block next to the observer once again same pattern for every layer so we're just gonna fill this in like so making sure we don't accidentally fill that block in we're gonna take this up and of course now we are at the layer where we need to place our leaves from this point we can place our sugar cane for this layer and depending on how you want your farm guys um you can keep going up with oops this exact pattern and wreck it all with water <laughs> stupid mouse glitch or you can just do that <laughs> fill her in with leaves and if this is your top layer once again you're good to go at this level you can fill it in with sol solid blocks you can put lighting here whatever you want make sure you get these on this end and that's it that's the farm guys really from here we can go solid you could go lighting it depends on how far you're building it into a wall or where in your cave you're going or whatever now on the back i would like to point out if this is going to be the top of your farm you don't put any lighting over head that is a spawnable block so you're gonna want to do stuff like that or in this case here i don't have to worry about it because we got that lighting there that's it guys that is the farm nice and simple of course like i said you can decorate it to your liking with iron or any other block that's it that's all it doesn't get any simpler once again don't forget these have to be on two ticks and of course don't have a block next to where your slime goes now from the look of it yeah see that's what happens if they're not all on two ticks so i'm gonna have to reset that now by let's just get ourselves a redstone torch real quick and we'll go like so so if you muck up that's it that's all guys that's it that's the farm and it is lightning quick we've already got 21 the time we've built and i would like to point out guys in case you notice it when you build it in your world that empty spot next to the observer right here right there uh you will see from time to time one of the sugarcane fall on top of there but don't worry each layer because you've got an observer on both ends fires off far less often than the five minute despawn interval. So I watched this farm and tested it for hours and not once did I ever lose an item, guys. It always fires before the item despawns and when it does, it's gonna push that item back down into our water stream, maintaining the 100% lossless slime farm design. So guys, Smash that like if you enjoyed the farm and you want to see more to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content find the channel. 
And if you're new and you haven't already, hit that subscribe for more videos, peeps. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.